In this video, we will show an immunohistochemical staining protocol for BRDU. BRDU is a commonly used marker for cell proliferation. Cells undergoing S phase or DNA synthesis of the cell cycle will have portions of unwound DNA. So at the time of BRDU administration, Typically through intraperitoneal injections, the BRDU molecules can bind to the DNA in place of thymidine. Begin by retrieving the desired tissue for staining from its storage. Here we are using 50 micron brain sections from rats that received a single BRDU injection two hours prior to perfusion. The first step is to perform a 10 minute wash step using one times PBS. Add PBS to a 12 well plate and gently transfer your tissues to the wells. After placing the wells on a shaking belly dancer, repeat the step for two more times. To reduce endogenous peroxidase activity, transfer the slices into a well that contains 0.6% peroxide for 30 minutes and again return to the belly dancer. In this step, you may see some bubbles forming along the tissue. Next, using a paintbrush, carefully transfer the tissue into Eppendorf tubes containing 2N hydrochloric acid and place in a heat block set to 37 degrees Celsius for one hour. This step is done to increase the permeability of the cells as well as to denature the DNA to make BRDU available for binding. Once complete, carefully transfer the tissue back to a well plate containing one molar of borate buffer at a pH of 8.5 to neutralize the acid from the previous step. Next, place the well back on the belly dancer for 15 minutes. Perform three more PBS washes for 10 minutes each. Next, pre-incubate the slices in a blocking solution that is made from 1 times PBS and 3% normal goat serum and 0.25 Triton X 100 and leave on the belly dancer for about one hour. Fill each well with about 2 milliliters of blocking solution. This step is done to reduce background staining as the serum will non-specifically bind to substrates within the cells. After this step, prepare your primary antibody solution by making 1 in 4,000 dilution of the primary antibody in the blocking solution. Pipette about 2 milliliters of the 1 in 4,000 primary solution into each well. Transfer the slices into primary and leave shaking in a fridge at 4 degrees Celsius for 16 hours. Here, antibodies specific to BRDU will bind. Once the primary incubation is complete, transfer the slices into a PBS solution with 0.25 Triton X100 for two washes at 10 minutes each. Triton X100 is a detergent and is used to increase cell permeability through the solubilization of the lipid membrane. Next, transfer the slices into a 3% NGS solution for 10 minutes. Move tissue to the secondary antibody solution and let it incubate at room temperature while shaking for two hours. Here the secondary antibodies will bind to the constant domain of the primary antibodies which are already bound to BRDU. Transfer the tissue into the secondary antibody solution. During these steps, make the avidin biotin complex solution. We are using the Vectostain Elite ABC toolkit. To make this step, you will need to add two drops of reagent A and two drops of reagent B for every five milliliters of blocking buffer solution. Let this sit for 30 minutes prior to use. 
I put approximately 2 milliliters of the ABC solution into each well and transfer the tissue over. Leave shaking for 1 hour at room temperature. The purpose of this step is to add enzyme complexes to secondary antibodies. So it's now time to make the dab solution. We are using a dab substrate kit from Vecta Stain Laboratories. To make the solution, working under a fume hood, add 2 drops of reagent A, 4 drops of reagent B, and 2 drops of reagent C for every 5 milliliters of distilled water. Move the tissue into wells containing the dab solution. So this is where a chromogenic substrate is added, which is the dab step, and this is where the previous enzymes that were added react with the substrate and release a color precipitate. You should see the tissue change color from light beige to brown color within approximately two to three minutes. To stop the dab reaction, transfer tissues to PBS and perform three final 10 minute PBS washes. Mount the tissues onto slides and allow to dry. Once sufficiently dry, dehydrate the tissues in ascending concentration of ethyl alcohol for 5 minutes each, starting with 50, then 70, and 100%. Finally, move tissue onto citrosol for 5 minutes and cover slip with permount immediately afterwards. Once the permount is dry, the slides are ready to visualize.